Hey guys! I'm back! Which means I've finished my dissertation, I finished uni, I finished everything, which means I'm free! So this week's video is on the topic of sleep and dreams. This is where you guys realise how weird I am. So, I'll start off with my dreams. There are two dreams I want to tell you about. One I had recently, the other one I had a couple of years ago. But it still freaks the crap out of me, so I thought I'd still share it with you guys. Dream number one. By far the strangest dream I've ever had. If anybody can interpret this dream, comment. So, I was staying in this foster home because apparently I had no family and needed to be fostered chilling out in this kind of terraced house and all of a sudden we hear this commotion out on the street and we're all like what? what's going on what's going on blah, blah, blah. so we kind of look out the window and there's this army of nazis just marching down the street fronted by hitler hitler just walks into a house because apparently we don't lock the door he starts going where's the golden monkey i want the golden monkey so um i decide oh. I'm gonna be a hero. I step out from behind the curtain and I go, Hitler, dude, I don't know where the golden monkey is. So I take him out through our living room, through the kitchen, out the back, to the back garden, where we have stables. Makes perfect sense. So I'm just like, Hitler, babe, like, the golden monkey that you seek is in the furthest stable. Because this is how I talk in my dreams, obviously. So he's marching off and he's going and he's going to the further stable and he opens the door and all of a sudden this magical grenade appears in my hand so I chuck it and then I wake up in a hospital in my dream I'd lost the end of my finger just that bit, just the tip, just there, just gone and they put me in hospital and then I woke up in real life so um dream number two set the scene for you. It was a couple of weeks ago and I went to Thorpe Park with my friends and we thought ahead. We thought no one's going to see us on the journey on the way home so you know, we'll just get in our onesies for the ride back. I got a little bit too comfy. I fell asleep on the back seat of the car. I didn't wake up until about 10 minutes before we managed to get back home. So apparently about 15-20 minutes beforehand I'd woken up and I'd gone, just had a really weird dream. I dreamt that we couldn't get the llamas on the log flume because there was a pineapple in the way. So basically, I had a dream that A, we were trying to get llamas on a log flume. B, there was a pineapple so big you couldn't get the llamas on the log flume. Or C, llamas are scared of pineapples. We were sat around on my sofa and my friend goes, uh, Do you know that if you wake up between the hours of 2 and 3 a.m. it means that someone or something is watching you? What? Thanks, Emma. Thanks a lot for that. Now, I know, you know, if you're waking up in the middle of the night and you kind of, the light's off and it's dark and your eyes are just adjusting and you think that something in your room resembles a person or something that looks like it could be living. But to actually have someone standing over you at 2 or 3 in the morning would be terrifying. I'd like to think that that kind of prepared me. Who are you? Why are you... How are you in my room? Cool, you're just going to... stand there and watch me sleep then, because... that's a totally normal thing to do. You should probably see someone about that. But the truth of the matter is that I now would probably feel safer sleeping with a knife under my pillow. Ah! Who are you? What are you do? Touch me and I'll stab you with a conveniently placed knife. But the fact is that I would probably now... I will stab you with this knife. That is so threatening. I will stab you 
with love and happiness because frankly you look like you need it so if you thought like if someone that just their job is just to go around and watch you between the hours of two and three i mean fair enough they're going to be supernatural or dead but they're going to be lonely so you probably want to befriend them maybe like lend them a book help them watch tv catch them up to date on what's going on because it's always two to three somewhere in the world have I overthought this? Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, then like, comment, and subscribe down below for more of the same slash similar thing. Also, put in the comments like what weird dreams you've had, weird things you've read about those magical few hours when we're asleep. Um, I'd like to know what you think and whether I can judge you by your dreams like you're judging me right now. Anyway, I'll see you next week, so ciao!